What's up guys? Back for another episode here. Today we are going to get rid of this auxiliary radiator. I believe it's literally just those two bolts. And I'll probably have to take this, uh, yeah, move this wiring. But uh, that's coming off. We might start cleaning in here a little bit. I don't know. Um, I want to get this mount off the trans. Trans is going to be sent to Paul over at Shop Dap. He's going to do a teardown on this. Um, I got to ask him. I should probably take off my transfer case. But, uh, yeah. So, I need to get ratchet straps, strap that down. We're going to get the AC pump off. Uh, I got somebody that's buying that. And then the condenser off this whole assembly. You need to get that out of there. Get pictures sent to him. And uh, I'm not sure what else, but we'll get into some shit. Right, it should be fairly simple. Pop this off of there. Use your socket. In all technicality and reality, I probably could pick up whatever fucking plug that is for the little right. Eat that off. Eat that off. I'm pretty sure this whole thing will just. What is it clipping? Oh no, no, there's one more on the back. Boom. And of course, one of these wires. Through here. So that tells you why I come to the ship. It was four hundred dollars for the oil pan for the trans. Yeah. Boom. Video. That was easy. And we got even more room for activity here. Probably delete that. We're gonna get this belt off real quick. I'm gonna yeet off this belt real quick. It's like a brand new belt too. Damn thing, come on man. Got the pump off. What is this like a 13 mil? I think. Should only just be these three bolts. Like I said, um, Audi makes a replacement for this that's just a, like an idler pulley. So this will be a very easy AC delete. And I'm hoping this guy, um, he got some golf. I think like the whole front end's messed up or something. And they need parts. So there's parts. Nope. I need a hand over here real quick, somebody. Yeah. What did you say? Just hold the pump. Hold the pump pump. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Boom. Oh, it's easy peasy. peasy. Now with that off, you can kind of see the water pump and stuff a little bit better. If you guys ever see people talking about doing water pump uh, replacements, this is what you're looking at. This whole assembly here. A lot of hoses going on and off of it. You can see the direct injector rail up there, kind of. Oh, you can't. I can't. Alright, guys, on to the AC condenser. Once you get past these stupid clips, um, I had no real way of recording it. I really didn't feel like it. This whole thing just kind of slides forward, up and off. Set that down. Boom. And this AC should condenser, just uh, these two sets of clips, and then it should pop right out. Look at that massive, ugly thing. There was like a dead bird in here, too. Oh, yeah, it just fell out. Gross. Once you get it out of that, that get that tab off there. You can just pop it out of that tab there. You can see how dirty this thing is? It's been a, a shield for my intercooler for years now. <laughs> yeah, 
bolts in there good. Hammer time. Here we go. Boom. Nice. And guys, this is the Racing Eye intercooler after quite some miles. Still looks pretty mint, which is great because I'm going to go to AMS soon or get a custom one that has like a bump at the bottom and then cut all the plastics away down here. That way I have like a thicker core where the air is mostly coming in and a custom shroud in there to keep air from passing down the sides and, and not going through the fins. So, in time. I just wanted to go over this again. How much area this took over? About half the intercooler this thing was in front of. You can see how like wide these fins are for air to get through and, and cool the air. And see how damaged these are and how like not much air can get. I feel like this would prevent a decent amount of airflow to the intercooler. Nothing crazy, but I mean enough that it would make a difference in the data logs I feel like especially on a hotter day and this thing like gets hot it's gonna like even could even heat the fuel before it gets to the intercooler to try and cool it nice little dent in it there I got someone to buy all this stuff and he asked me just asked me if I had an intercooler I got an intercooler in the attic so hopefully I can make a couple dollars off this I'm not trying to rip anybody off or anything but just enough to cover shipping and couple bucks in my pocket to put towards the build hopefully and here we go a couple days later here guys I just kind of sprayed out the transmission and get a better look at that hole um, and there's like a ton of just like debris in here I'm gonna wipe this out real quick but uh this transmission is about to go to shop dap FedEx is about to pick it up Take it out to, I believe, Charlotte, North Carolina is where they are. Um, he wants to break it down on his YouTube channel, so I'm hoping the timing is just right where uh, I put out this video and then like within a couple of days he puts out his. So fingers crossed on that. You guys look forward to that. It's going to be pretty dope. And, uh, and he's going to send, if there is anything good left in it, I'll get that sent to uh, FFE from there. Uh, the transfer case by itself should at least be good, so I'm hoping some of the gears are good so I don't have to buy a new trans, but we'll see. I, I highly doubt anything is good in there besides the transfer case, so probably buy a new trans. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there she goes. There she goes. Off to uh, shop that. That's it, she gone.